spring, love. We made it to spring. We made it. And we've been enjoying the nice, sunny, and warmer days. Everybody's oh been gosh. having fun. It's so wonderful. You can feel your soul coming back to life. Mm -hmm. Even the kids. Yeah. They're unstoppable. <laughs> now the snow is finally melting. It's revealing all the work that we need to do. Absolutely. Especially since we have that big gathering in April mm -hmm. for doTERRA here. We've got to get this cleaned up before people go. <laughs> yeah. Before we plant and everything. So we're looking at... Clean sweeping the whole thing. Yeah. I love this chore. It doesn't even feel like a chore getting back in touch with it all. Yeah, it's good. We are asked all the time what we actually get from the grocery store because we do all of our own meat, most of our dairy products when the cows in milk, and most of our produce comes, you know, either from our garden or from our friend Grace's garden. So, but this is March and we're out of a lot of stuff. The cow is dry and we have a big event next month. We're having 20 women come and stay for three days with us for a, a doTERRA training that we're doing. And so I had to stock up. I had to have all kinds of food available to them. So when we need to go to the grocery store, most of the time we go to Azure Standard and we do a huge monthly order from them pretty much year round because there's still a lot of things we don't grow on the farm. Let me show you what that looks like. Dehydrated whole cane sugar, dried fruit and nuts, of course. Some preserves for a salad and sandwich bar that we're gonna be hosting because not everyone loves the taste of lacto-fermented stuff that we have in our cooler. Beeswax candles because we use Arby's for honey and if you take all their wax, they have to put that energy into building the wax next year. So we don't harvest our own wax. Salt, mustard, ghee, and peanut butter. My beloved einkorn flour from Carla. You guys know how much I love Jovial products. So I also stock up with all of their beans that they carry and all of their tomatoes that they carry because they're much better than what I can do myself. So for our monthly cooking community that we do, we have to put the recipes in a month in advance. So even though I have Romanesco broccoli growing in my garden and it will be ready when the recipes come out, I have to kind of think ahead. So this is for recipe testing. Sunflower seeds, popcorn, rolled oats, Brazil nuts. Ooh, Epsom salts for my magnesium bags. More oats. Oh, more oats. Ooh, these are a snack for the ladies when they come. Coconut rolled dates. Azure is also a great place to stock up on beauty supplies. So this is jojoba oil that I oil wash my face with and just a sugar face scrub. Maple syrup, Azure is a great place to get maple syrup. Normally I get it by the gallon, but they were out this time. So this will have to get a spot for the next 30 days, maybe. Now, obviously we have a dairy cow, so we do a lot of our own dairy products when she's in milk. But when it's like this and she's dry, we need dairy stuff. So Azure's where we get that from because they've got really good organic brands. So we get sour cream, yogurt, cream cheese, and cheese in general. Let me show you that. This is one of my very favorite cheeses that Azure carries. This is from Grazers. It's from Sierra Nevada, which is a California farm. They have really good grass-fed pastured butter, a super good grass-fed organic uh, what is this called? Jalapeno Jack cheese, which is delicious. And then just a really good sharp cheddar. So we keep these on hand all the time. I've been juicing some this winter, just keeping a gallon of fresh vegetable and fruit juice on hand. So Azure's a great place for me to get organic um, citrus, so grapefruits and lemons and oranges. They're also a great place to stock up on supplies. We've eaten all our potatoes long ago. So I can get organic potatoes from them. I get organic celery from juice for juicing. And then of course, organic parsley. Normally I don't buy any, you know, prepackaged sort of like treat food, but because we're hosting this big event for all these women, I wanted to have supplies in their Airbnb so that they felt comfortable and at home. And so I'm stocking them up with some teas and I know some of the girls are gluten-free. So I got some of Jovial's gluten-free little cookies. And for the non-gluten-free, these are so good. They have amazing products and Azure carries a lot of them. I gotta tell you, even with how much fun work we have going on at the farm right now, it was kind of nice to take a break. <laughs> Head yeah. to the city for the day. And just us, just celebrate you and our anniversary. It was amazing how much the snow melted while we were gone, actually, off 
Well, we were gallivanting. The snow was hard at work. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We were peeking around the city. All of our plants were peeking back up from underneath the blanket of snow. It's true. It was kind of fun to come back because it felt like we'd been gone for ages. <laughs> I know. You just one night one in the night. city. <laughs> but I was ready to come home after one night in the city, I'll tell you. Yeah. But we got to do some of the things that we really enjoy doing. Eat good food. Spend time together. Yeah. And- the coffee was amazing. I mean, city life is beautiful. I just can't stay there for too long. You did get to do one of the things that you really, really know, wanted to do. I know. I've been hearing about Molbex for ages. And to finally get... It was like a little retreat in the city. Mm-hmm. Huge buildings all around you. And yet it was like a taste of home. Yeah. And you got to see things there that we just don't get to see. I know. It locally. was fun to bring some of them home and... You know, they'll forever remind me of our 10-year anniversary trip. Mm -hmm. So that was special. Yeah, you found those cool uh, ranunculuses. Yes, wedding flower. But you know what? Halfway through, I was ready to get gone back to the farm. It was time to get back home. (laughs) And we had a beautiful drive all the way back. Yeah, it was fantastic weather. It Mm -hmm. felt like we were coming back to something completely different than we'd left. Mm -hmm. Almost all the snow was gone. Stuff was coming up everywhere. Tulips and daffodils and rhubarb. <laughs> Just, <laughs> it was really fun to see. Yeah. It was like they were greeting me back yeah. from the journey. Yeah, it's fun to, to watch it just transform before your eyes. And that's what it's like. Hour by hour, this time of year, it changes. Mm-hmm. So it felt really good to fluff things up. And, mm-hmm. you know, I still, we have a few weeks until all the girls come, which means there's a lot more beauty to, to yeah. still make, but... It was a really, really good start. Yeah. So we got a lot of good work done at the uh, greenhouse gardens. Yeah. We got that border behind the greenhouse cleaned up and we're just about ready to plant that. Yeah. Uh, We're kind of making our way up the farm towards the potage gardens and then finally to the market gardens. It's inevitable this time of year. I mean, you got to just sweep through stuff. You got to rake gravel and move mulch and throw dead things away and prune stuff back and shift things around so that they look nice and fresh in your garden. So Mm -hmm. it looks tended to. That's right. And I I love doing it. So it was a joy to spend that time in the greenhouse gardens this week and show it some love. Good, because there's lots more (laughs) ahead. (laughs) Well, I have a lot more love to give. 